Hello there and welcome. In this video, we will show you how to make custom fields. They are easy to create and will help you a lot to make Easy Redmine your own. To create custom fields, you just go to the More menu and then go to Administration. And here you will find custom fields. Now, here you will find all the custom fields that already exist. And as you can see, they are separated according to the entities under which they are created. To create a new custom field, just click on this green button called New Custom Field. Here you have to choose under which entity this custom field will appear. So if you want custom fields under a task, just choose task here. And if you want it to be under user profiles, just choose user here. So for now, we'll just use the task option, which is basically pre-selected. Now let's continue into the custom field settings. First, you have to choose the format of the custom field. Here you have a great variety of formats. Each of them has a specific function. Those functions are described in more detail in our documentation, which you can find in open demo. So for this example, let's choose a list format. Then we just have to name it. Here we can add description so that users know what this field is for and how to use it. Next field are the possible values. These are the values that will appear in the list and from which users have to choose. Let's just put numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 as an example. Here you can also enable multiple values, so you can choose item 1 and item 2 at the same time, but we will turn off that option for now. You can also set default values, if you don't set it, the field will remain blank. Here you can choose to link values to specific URLs and below you have different display options. You can either select drop down list or checkboxes. And lastly, you can choose to who this field will be visible to. It can be either all the users or you can choose a specific role. On the top here, you can choose to which trackers this field will belong. So if you choose task tracker, I will not see this field under, for example, design tracker. After that, you can select for which project you want this field. And I will just select all the projects. Lastly, here you can make this field required. Then here again, you can make this field visible for all the projects. You can also use this field as a filter. So you will see it appear in the filter options and you can also make it searchable. You can choose to show it as an additional attribute, meaning it won't appear in the list of main attributes. I will later show you what that means. And lastly, we can choose to get email notification on this custom field. So it is done and now I'll just save it. Now let's go to a list of tasks and select here a task. And now we can see the field we just created over here. You can edit it inline like this and you can see the options here. Or you can update it with the update button. And as I mentioned, it will not appear here, but you will find it under the additional attributes. So just click on edit more attributes and you will find it there. And as you can see, here's my list of things and it's a drop down as I have selected. I will now choose the item 3 and save it. And that's all. Thank you for watching and good luck.